when you and I actually were talking before we mm-hmm. went live, you told me you can smell benzodiazepine withdrawal. <laughs> so what yeah. is it that tips you off? <laughs> Well, I'll give you I'll give you an example. Then working in the psychiatric center uh, on the detox unit, I walk on the unit and I hear this wailing going on. You know, somebody wailing, and this is a patient who's crying and wailing and just not, unable to be consoled, uh, and it's overwhelming. The nurses don't want to go in a room. There's nothing they anybody can do to help her. The, one of the patients I heard was like this. I was walking out of the unit and I heard her doctor happened to be at the nurse's station. And I said to him, I said, uh, I'll take that patient. <laughs> you will? I said, sure. <laughs> so, because I knew what it was because I've heard it over and over that, that wailing, you know, and that's the benzo patient who's been off benzos for a while, usually high dose benzo patient. And, and, and it just, uh, this unconsolable grief and crying that they have. So once we got her started on the benzos, she was fine. I mean, once we you know, started following the Ashton model, matched her tolerance with diazepam and then discharged her uh, to follow as an outpatient. And it took her almost two years, but she got off and she's fine. <laughs> uh, so that, that would be, that would be uh, one thing. Uh, um, uh, another I'll mention is pain. <clears throat> and this is, uh, now this is a, I, I missed the boat on this for many years. And this was the patient who had abdominal pain or pain in the side, you know, or even sometimes back pain. And this, these are benzo pay patient been on benzos and they're off or down to very low dose, whatever. And, uh, and that pain is due to withdrawal. And uh, they have all the upper GIs, CAT scans, they all show nothing. But once we get started, get them started on the bed, and if they're on benzos and the benzos, that, their pain will go away. I think the, the, the most significant problem with benzo withdrawal is the duration of time, how long it takes. Yeah. You can get off alcohol, uh, opiates in a, in a few weeks, you know, they have sometimes post-acute withdrawal syndrome, but nothing compared to this. I don't think anything equals the duration and the intensity, the long intensity of, of uh, benzo withdrawal. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. 